Though we have covered many strange mysteries surrounding that of the late Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla, there are still many more interesting facts surrounding the man that has left many believing him to have been at the centre of one of the greatest technological innovations and growths ever made during the 20th century. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over six incredible Nikola Tesla inventions to blow your mind. Earthquake Machine The most peculiar report that surrounds the inventor Nikola Tesla is that of his oscillating machine that is believed to be able to cause many earthquakes within his vicinity that become increasingly more powerful as the machine is left on for a prolonged period of time. Though many claim that the reports are nothing more than exaggerated accounts, the original event was recorded by a reporter back in 1912, after interviewing Tesla of whom gave a detailed account of his first attempt of testing the machine in practical terms. According to the inventor himself, Nikola Tesla had brought a small version of his oscillating device, no larger than an alarm clock, and attached the device to the steel framework of a building still undergoing construction. After adjusting the oscillator, the building began to tremble and the steel workers all across the structure quickly came down, believing that an earthquake had just occurred. The police had been called shortly after as an investigation quickly began, causing Tesla to quickly retrieve his device and leaving shortly after. Although many now believe that the story was made up by Nikola Tesla for nothing more than additional media attention, Others disagree given the fact that, theoretically, if an oscillating device could match the resonance frequency of an object, it could begin to cause it to vibrate and tear apart similar to that of a violin shattering a crystal glass. Today, there are no surviving mechanisms of such a device, though researchers are now well aware of a phenomenon known as resonance frequency in which any element can be broken down when subjected to certain frequencies and vibrations. Alternating Current During the rise of the use of electricity in the home, the world had often used direct current as its source of electrical power, of which led to rising electrical costs and the need for electric companies to build generators every few miles just to satiate the demands of the system due to direct current slowly dying down after only a few miles and being overall unreliable in many aspects. This would lead Nikola Tesla to invent alternating current, that worked to allow electrical current to continue more efficiently for much longer distances as well as providing energy at a much cheaper cost to those consuming its power. This would eventually lead to a direct competition with that of the inventor Thomas Edison of whom spearheaded his direct current campaign by claiming that alternating current was far more dangerous and unreliable, despite being untrue and direct current suffering from far more safety issues than alternating current. This would lead to the electric wars between the two inventors competing for their inventions to be used as the forefront of innovation, quickly leading Tesla to take the lead and satisfy far more power demands in a far more reliable manner with overall cheaper costs compared to direct current. Had it not been for Tesla's invention, the modern world would have unreliable electricity with generators needed to be constructed every few miles just to meet everyday demands. The Niagara Falls Power Project One of the most important construction projects ever developed on Earth was that of Nikola Tesla's work on the Niagara Falls Power Project. During his time back in university, Nikola Tesla had had a vision that he would construct massive turbines at the Niagara Falls to one day turn water into an electric generating source. The problem with such an idea at the time was that direct current made it ultimately impossible to use the electricity of the falls as it was located too far away to tap into the power of an electrical grid. Despite these problems, Tesla would continue to dream of the impossible and work day and night to see his dream come true. During the height of the electrical war between himself and Edison, Tesla would demonstrate the power of his alternating current by working to construct the first ever hydroelectric generators at the Niagara Falls that could be used to power homes and buildings miles away than what direct current could ever help to supply. Though many might argue that there have been plenty of other engineering projects in the past that have been on a much more massive scale than that of the Niagara Falls power project, its importance was not due to its difficulty but rather the precedent that it had set for the future of electricity. Had it not have been for the success of Nikola Tesla's work on that of the Niagara Falls power project, the world may still be having issues switching over from direct current in the modern day. 
the Tesla coil. During Nikola Tesla's popularity, there were many who believed that electricity could only efficiently travel and be used with the help of wires and materials that could allow electricity to travel through the materials to be used to power devices. However, Nikola Tesla had his sights set on a future in which wires of any kind would no longer be required. Known as the Tesla coil, Nikola Tesla designed his own device that could efficiently help to allow electricity to travel wirelessly through the air and connect to devices to allow them to be powered. Today, many different types of these devices can be found online and even constructed to be used as primitive sources of power. The problem that persists today is that the efficiency of the system is lacking and a lot of the energy is lost to the surrounding airwaves. Nikola Tesla had believed he had solved this issue, however was never able to complete his project as his main financier, John Pierpoint Morgan, quickly backed out of helping Tesla after learning that he was going to supply free electricity. Unfortunately, in the modern era, the Tesla coil is widely used for entertainment purposes and nothing more. The Radio History has provided the credit of the creation of the radio to the wrong man, believing that Marconi was the person who first created the radio and tapped into radio waves, but this is hardly the case. In fact, Marconi stole the design and invention of the radio from Tesla himself. When Marconi journeyed to the United States as an immigrant, Nikola Tesla believed the man to be in a similar situation as he once was years ago and wanted to help him out, believing that Marconi would make a great friend or a partner. Marconi was also a huge fan of Nikola Tesla and was eager to work with him right away. Taking Marconi at his word and trusting the man, Nikola Tesla then provided Marconi with the keys to his laboratories and told him that he would have full access to the space, his personal notes, and his current inventions, believing that by granting Marconi time to familiarize himself with his work, then they could begin working on newer and better ideas as soon as possible. The effect of what Tesla had done did not dawn on him until he was at a lecture hall and became aware of Marconi having fled the United States and stealing Tesla's invention of the radio and the notes that accompanied it. Marconi then coined the term and, the public unable to accept the ideas of old mysticism and the nature of the ether, quickly grappled onto these new scientific terms to explain a phenomenon that Tesla had already worked eagerly to explain. And though Marconi made a tremendous profit from these designs and would go on to be remembered by history as the inventor of the radio, it was in fact Nikola Tesla who had first invented the device. The Remote Control Regarded as the world's first drone, Nikola Tesla constructed a small mechanical boat and built a wireless transmitter inside of the device that could tap into a specific frequency of which he called the ether that we now know in the modern day as the electromagnetic spectrum, or more specifically, radio waves. He then built a remote control device that could manipulate the boat and cause it to move around and float on the water as if it were a fully manned crew. To demonstrate his creation, Nikola Tesla took his boat out to the electrical exhibition in 1898 and made a powerful demonstration that drew a crowd from all around. He placed the boat into a nearby pond and told the crowd that the boat had a bunch of tiny people inside that could hear them and so the crowd began shouting commands that could change the boat as the tiny people supposedly listened. Of course, Tesla had the remote control in his hand as many people came out to see this spectacle. After the demonstration was over, Nikola Tesla then told the crowd that there was not any tiny people inside and that he controlled the boat using nothing more than electricity and the control over the ether. Upon hearing this proclamation of mysticism, many of the people in the crowd claimed the whole event to be a hoax and forced Tesla to open the boat to prove that there was no tiny people inside. When he did, the crowd was even more baffled at the idea of the ether and believed that the Serbian inventor had control over magic and telepathy. But what do you all think of these incredible inventions and discoveries made by Nikola Tesla during the peak of his creation? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.